The only worm I ever deal with here on, on Ripple Ranch is stomach worm, which is the homuncus, uh, also known as barber pole worm. And you can see, here's my total egg count, 3, 17, 5, 0, 22, 4, 2, and 0. So everybody here I'm not worried about except for these two. I really start getting concerned about worm counts when they're over 10 to 15. When they're over 15, I don't debate it, I treat it. When it's between 10 and 15, I debate the, the goat's condition. Can I bring them back through nutrition? Can I help them and retest later? Those sorts of things. But once I start getting up into worm counts up in like this, um, then I'll treat. So in this particular situation, with the stomach worm, I would choose just to treat these two does and I would give them a double treatment to get them kind of caught up with the other ones and then retest and make sure we did the same thing. So that's kind of how this testing work. And this is the one from Midwest, uh, Mid-America Ag Research. I always call them the wrong name, but anyway, you can see that they have a key that is one plus is one to 10 eggs, two pluses is, is 11 to 50 eggs. So we only have two goats with two pluses, and then we have the actual egg count here that tells us what to do, and now we know what to treat. So it's super important to be treating before, or excuse me, to be testing before you're treating, and that's how you interpret these results. And you have all the other type of worms that you could potentially have in here as well. You can see I do also have a little bit of coccidia, but not much, and I never get super concerned about that. 